guys and welcome to Matt's Beamer. First of all, I want to say Happy Christmas and have a wonderful new year. I can't believe how fast that year has gone. This time last year, I was heading over to England to see my family and I met my daughter. It, it was a lovely time and I was planning to go to England loads this year, but yeah, it never happened. <laughs> I just want to say a big thank you to every single one of you for subscribing to my channel and watching the videos. It means so much to me. Um, I really hope that in 2021 I will be able to make different kind of content as well as making more F20, F21 um, DIY videos. But let's see how that goes. <clears throat> this video is a Q&A. I shall do it in two parts because this first part is um, basically YouTubers asking me questions. Ones that I've met or ones that I follow or follow me. So, the first question is from Ben from the YouTube channel Planet Auto. If you don't know who Planet Auto are, I should leave a link down below. Basically, it's a YouTube channel run by a couple called Ben and Annabelle. They review brand new cars and they also do the odd bit with used cars. And also they have um, three project cars going at the moment. They might have four, but I've forgotten if there is. They have a Mark II Golf GTI, a Mercedes C124 230CE, a Honda Civic, I forgot which mark it is, but it's about 2000-ish, I think. And oh yeah, and they have a Alfa Romeo 145, which is the little hatchback in bright red, and that should hopefully come to the channel soon. But anyway, enough about that. His question is, when do you plan to move back to the UK and where would you like to settle? Um, if I did come back, I would either live in the southeast of Britain, which is where I used to come from. I am from a town called um, Uckfield, which is quite close to Lewis and Eastbourne and Brighton, that, that area. I would also consider though, moving up to the area where you are. It's a beautiful area and it seems lovely up there. Let's see um, how the COVID situation bears out over this next year. The second question is from Joseph from the YouTube channel, Lloyd Vehicle Consultant. He's been on my YouTube channel about a year ago when I last visited England. We, um, I was also on his channel too, doing a Q&A. His business is basically sourcing cars for um, his clients. He also films many different types of cars um, from the old classics like the E-Type Jaguar all the way up to the brand new MG electric vehicles. He is basically a Wikipedia based on cars. His question though is, how much would it cost in Russia to buy a good condition Lada Samara or Skoda Favorit? I hope I pronounced that correct. Well, I had to have a look and to be honest, in Russia, it's extremely hard to find a balance in price. Sometimes you can buy a very, very expensive um, model, and it's a pile of, um, yeah, and some of the cheaper cars actually look better than the more expensive cars. So in Russia, they call the Samara the 2108, the 2109, and the 21. Oh, nine, nine. So they have a totally different naming system over in Russia. And um, the prices in Moscow at the moment are from about £200 and £7,500. The expensive one, nah, <laughs> it's not worth that at all. And the cheapest one is a bit of a bag of nails. Um, I would say that a £1,000 to £1,500 would get you a good example, but as I said, it's hard to actually tell. As for the Skoda Favorite, there are only three for sale at the moment. The, um, the cheapest one is about £700 and the dearest one is £1,500. The best one out of the two with the low mileage and which looks the best and which hasn't been modified is about £1,000. So as you can see, these these kind of cars can be still quite expensive for what they are. Maybe in the future though, 
Um, if, you, if you, any of your customers wanted a Soviet car or any special cars from Russia, we could work together and do something. Um, thank you so much, Jody, for your question. Um, I look forward to hearing some more questions from you soon. The next question is from a guy called Ben from the YouTube channel Papa77. Um, he is quite a new YouTuber, um, but I really enjoy his videos. He's doing a series at the moment where he's um, where he started off with five hundred pound and the, um, to buy a cheap car, fix it, sell it to make a profit, and basically his aim is to get fifteen thousand um, pound by flipping cars or that's more than that's more than American expression, but trading up his cars. He is also um, very knowledgeable on BMWs and Minis. But he also knows plenty of stuff about other brands of cars. And I recommend, if you like DIY videos, or you're interested in the car trade, to go and watch his channel. Anyway, Ben's question is, what made you leave the UK and move to Russia? First of all, I really like Russia. It's a beautiful place, the people are lovely, and there's lots to, there's lots to do and see. And it's so funny because um, I have a friend, um, he lives in England, who came to visit Moscow. And he asked me things like, do they have card machines in Russia? Do they have cash point machines? Do they have this and that? And it's like, um, does he think I live in a, um, a third world country or something? They, and I have a Russian family over here. So that's why I'm in Russia. I hope that was answered okay to you. I was speaking and I forgot what I talked about. <laughs> so yeah, but thanks Ben. And, yeah, go and check Ben out at Papa77. The next question is from a YouTuber called Jake, who has the YouTube channel, I think it's Walls Wheels or Wools Wheels. Anyway, it's spelt W-U-L-L-S, Walls Wheels. Jake has, um, on his channel, Jake does the odd DIY video. He does tours around um, car shows. He loves British car manufacturers. He has a Mini, the original Mini, which is beautiful. And if you like Minis, I recommend you go and check him out. He has a Renault. He's got a um, Fiat Panda. Not the original one, but the, the next stage, which looks quite impressive. He's done some mods to it, which I quite like. And I think he's got another car, but my brain has just popped again. <laughs> he has also done the old car review. His question is, as you live in Russia, um, if you hadn't bought a BMW 1 Series, what Russian brand of car would they drive about? And that's also a good question. I quite like the, um, the bigger cars, like the old Volgas. I would love to have a um, Volga 21 or 24, or even a car like a Chai car, which in English means Seagull. Um, those cars are still quite expensive. Um, I even like the Aladas and um, Mosque Beaches. Russian cars are cool, uh, they just um, get bad press. <laughs> but the car, my dream Russian car, is basically a Volga 21, which was built. Basically, my um, dream Russian car, if I, I'm not sure if I can put, find a picture of it which has no copyright issues. Um, but basically it's a, a Volga 21, which was adapted to fit on the BMW E31 8 series chassis. And this car is absolutely beautiful. It's got the mechanics of a 8 series BM, which is my dream car. But it has the looks of a Russian Soviet car. Uh, if I can't find the actual picture of it, I should, send, I should put a link down below so you can see it. After the 8 series was discontinued, they adapted this whole um, Volga 21 to fit on the um, second generation 6 series. So you can get a BMW M6 with a V10, looking like a classic Volga. It's very impressive. I know it's been on the Russian Top Gear, and I, I just fell in love with it. Um, thank you, Jake, for your question. And the last question is from um, a BMW F20 YouTuber, which I'm guessing many of you have seen before, as he's been on my channel a few times asking questions and 
Tolkien. He asks, what is my dream five card garage if money was not an issue? Um, thank you for that question. I've had to alter that question a little bit though because if I just um, chose my five top cars, they'd be all too similar. So what I've done is broke it down into five different types of car, which are, one second, um, SUV, coupe, saloon, convertible, and a retro car. My dream SUV, which I'm gonna guess that many of you would disagree with, is the, um, BMW X7, but not just any BMW X7, it will be the Alpina XB7, because basically I'm an Alpina man, they, they are just perfect. Um, yeah, it would be an X7, XB7 in a dark blue with creamy white leather seats. Those things are apparently very fast and it would be ideal for the Russian roads. My favourite coupe, and this is also my dream car full stop, is a Alpina B12 5.7 8 series. Um, I don't mind what colour it is in, preferably red or yellow. Um, yeah, the 8 series is my dream car. Hopefully one day um, I'll have a E31 840 or something, but if I ever got a, a CSI or an Alpina, that would be amazing because they're like over a hundred thousand pound. <laughs> um, yeah. My favourite saloon is the um, E38 BMW 7 Series, but the Alpina B12 um, 6 litre. That would need to be in dark blue with um, creamy yellow seats. Um, yeah, that is my dream family car basically. I've always wanted one of those since my dad had um, an E32 B12 back in the day. My dream convertible, and this is quite difficult, and this one isn't actually an Alpina, but if it was an Alpina I'd still be very extremely happy. Um, my dream convertible is the BMW Z8. There used to be a Z8 in my local showroom in England which was called Chandler's in Helsham and they had a Z8 in purpley blue and I said to my dad um, that car there would be a good car to buy um, it was up for £90,000 and my dad was sort of ummed and erred and he decided not to buy it because it was only in left hand drive so he went and bought a um, Mercedes Benz um, 2002-2003 um, SL500, which is a beautiful car, but it was not reliable at all, and um, the price of the Mercedes went down, and I think he only sold it for about £20,000 in the end, while the Z8 went up to £250,000. The last time I looked, it depends on condition and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, <laughs> I, I do love the Z8. And my favourite retro car? This is extremely difficult as well because I I love so many retro cars. But my dream retro car is basically my dad's old Alpina B12 5 litre E32 in black with cream leather and that would be my dream. <laughs> um, that car is very, very quick and my dad was caught doing 140 miles per hour racing um, a Rolls Royce, um, what was it ever car? I think it was a Super Impreza and a big massive Jaguar um, my dad was um, winning, winning and he started flashing this car out of the way the car pulled to the side and dad booted it past this car and all of a sudden the um, flashing blue lights came on um, they said if you hadn't stopped we wouldn't have caught you but we caught we clocked you doing 140 miles per hour and back in that day he just got a big massive fine and he was extremely lucky to keep his license but that was back then. <laughs> um, thank you all so much for your um, questions. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see any of the YouTube channels that I've mentioned today, um, I shall leave a link down below. I recommend you watching every single one of them because I really do enjoy watching their content. 
Anyway, have a wonderful Christmas and have a good new year and don't worry, the next Q&A will be out very soon. Take care. Bye.